What's up guys? Welcome to our channel, Desiree Ann Sharon. Eats. Today we flew to New Zealand in St. Mary's. Um, so we went to a shop called Kiwi Delights and we got this beautiful kai guys. Um, staff were friendly, awesome vibe um, when we arrived to the shop as well. So um, hats off to the guys at Kiwi Delights in St. Mary's mm -hmm. and we're going to enjoy this food. Yeah. Yeah? Oh my god, I'm so excited for this one. Should oh. we go to the North Island? No. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Up to you. Anything. Well, I want to go boil up. Okay. I'm going to go boil up. Oh, they've got dough boys too. Yum. Both go, or should I go? You can go the hungy. So guys, we've got a hungy and a boil up. Oh, also, the, no, the boil up's from um, Nanny Peppers. Nanny Pepper's Pantry. It's in St. Mary's. It's right right by the Coles. They also have amazing food. Um, but yeah, majority of it is from... You can start. The rest is from uh, Kiwi Delights, guys. Yeah. If you don't have a car, there's a station right across the road. So yeah. it's central to public transport, guys. Mm -hmm. uh, make your way down and grab your nice Kiwi feed. Um, all the way from New Zealand. With love. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to eat the Dobos. Yes, another thing is, this was requested. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. The juice in that boil up, I can already. Mmm. I haven't eaten boil up in so long. Mmm. And that is nice. Okay. This has stuffing, potato, mm. pumpkin, I think that's kumara. Um, cabbage, I think it's pork. Oh my gosh, yum. Mmm, is that bacon bake? Oh yeah, that was made, oh my god, yum. That was made with bacon bake. Mmm, just boil up guys. Tasty, really enjoy, really enjoying it. I don't oh, even want to start hungry. The boil up also comes with fried bread, so that comes with that. And this fried bread is from Christie's. Oh, not Christie's. What's it called? Kiwi Delight. Kiwi Delight. Sorry. Yeah, but at the front it says Chris, Christie's. Yeah. Christie's Cafe. Oh my god, yum. Mm -hmm. I think I've been more excited for this mukbang than any other. Can I move this over here? Mm -hmm. Bacon bones. Oh, we got it. Oh my gosh, yum. Yeah, this is delicious. This is so, like. I could be happy mm. with just this. Mm -hmm. Gotta love that dough boy. Mm. Damn. Um, yeah, so we went this morning. Um, and then we actually forgot to order the the honey. Yeah. So Ray went back, and, but when she went back, it was packed by the time she went back. Okay, we delight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Honey, I am not joking about no, this. No, I know. <laughs> so delicious. Do you want to swap, babe? Oh. Uh because -huh. I might eat this all and you won't even get a try of it. I might eat this all and you might not get it. No, trust um, me, you'll like this one. Also, this fried bread, they made it, um, they make it to order, I'm pretty sure. Because once we got there, we had to order it and wait for a bit. But like, mm. well worth it. For our drink today, guys, I've got a LMP, one of New Zealand's very own drinks. Um, and then I just have a fresh up the Fijoa burst. Mm. Oh my god, I love Fijoa, like off the tree. Mate, we used to climb trees when we were young, going to church, climbing the tree. We had one Fijoa tree um, when I was going to church when I was a lot younger, and all the kids. All of us in our dresses, or in and, and the boys, we climb up and just get that one feed off. It's really nice. Mm. Wow. Yum. So, what else have we got? You want to try a pie? Pie, yeah. Okay, so we have four different types of pies: mince and cheese, steak and cheese, smoked fish, and ah, uh, and bacon and egg. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, just grab it. What have I got? 
I think it, is that the steak and cheese from the other side? Mince and cheese. Oh, these are nice and. And this is the smoke fit. Oh my god, it feels I can, good. Yeah, it feels good. We couldn't even smell it on the way home. It was like, yum. One, two, three. Mmm. Mate. Shut up. And I thought Australia's pies were good, mate. No. Mm. Nothing compared to New Zealand. Man. The pastry is beautiful. Mm. And the mint and cheese. Wow. Mm -hmm. Any it's... Kiwis in, in Australia and they're missing home, mm -hmm. go to Kiwi Delights. Wow. What have I got? S and C. Steak and cheese. Steak and cheese. This is bacon and egg. Mm. Get, shut the front gates. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, I'm so happy. Mate. Yeah, th these are... If I'm being honest, guys, this these two pies, I've, I haven't eaten pies in ages. I haven't really felt like a pie, but I would so buy this over and over again. Mm. It's so delicious. Mmm. Wow. Man. Kiwi, Kiwi delights, man. Mm -hmm. mm. We also did have quite a few requests um, specifically for Kiwi delights. Um, oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad we... Because I've, I've, we've never eaten... We've never... Um, and it's still hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've never eaten there before. Mm. Mm. What next? Right. Let's try the power. Mm. So she's got cream. Is it cream power? Yeah. And then I have seafood. Um, yeah, you try power. that. I'll try this. Man, got to get on with our eating. Oh my this God. is all tasty, guys. Like Kiwi Delisa did an amazing job. Yeah, this is why I'm pretty sure a lot of people requested. Mmm. <laughs> Man, that's nice. That is nice. Wow. Together with the fry bread, guys, amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this fry bread too. Mm hmm Like, oh man. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. They done such a good job. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Man. This, this is really, this spread, everything I've eaten so far, absolutely amazing. Like, amazing. Mm. Mm. Man, why haven't we eaten this sooner? <laughs> like, legit, like, oh. This seafood chat takes me back to, like, the markets. Mm. Um, in Auckland. No, we'll just, we'll just get yeah. in now. Alright guys, that's the taste testing for you done. Mmm, like, oh, I've got no words for this. This is a yeah. beautiful, every single thing that on this board we have. I'm just asking, I, I was asking Sharon, I go, why haven't we been here sooner? Because man, this, this is, a like, this is, I'm not even exaggerating, guys. It is beautiful, delicious, all the words you can think of right here on our board. Like, it's nice, like... Yeah, if, if you're in the Sydney area, it's definitely worth the trip. Um, Swap. Especially if you're... Swapy. Especially Sorry. if you're Kiwi and you're missing home. Like, this will satisfy your, like, craving for, like, some home food. Mmm. Man, this hungry. Good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Smoky. Yeah, that, that smoky flavour's in it. Mm. Oh, I love cabbage. Mm. I'm sorry, but I think this is one of the best spreads I've eaten so far. I think mm -hmm. this, this is the best. Yeah. This is the best. Like, it's just, oh my gosh. 
And, and you know what? The best thing about this is it tastes homemade, but at a mm. level that I can't describe. Like, it's just such hearty, homely food, and it's so beautiful. Like, everything, guys. The flavors. Mm -hmm. Oh, and those pies, like, whoo, mm. those pies, man, they gave me a kick, like, wow, I could have eaten them all. Mmm. Yama. Mm-hmm. Man. It's oh, and the smoked fish that's actually in this pie is, like, decent. That's stuffing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. This is the best comfort food, hangover food. You know what, guys? Like, when I, growing up for me, I would do a umu with my dad. Like, it was always me and my dad. Um, a umu is another word for hungry um, in Samoan. And I know how how much like I know how much work it takes to to do a umu and to even cook a hangi. So you know you can tell that this food was made with love. Like it wasn't just thrown in a saucepan. Um, it just everything tastes so good, guys. Um, oh, my point is like the amount of work that goes into making a hangi or a umu um, is a lot of work and, and the end result, guys, always amazing. Hence why this is like, mmm, beautiful. I really want to try the raw fish. Raw fish? Okay. So this is, this raw fish has um, mm. New Zealand snapper. Snapper is my favorite um, in an orca over any other fish. <laughs> that face said it all. Give it over here. <laughs> you want yeah. some more? No, no, try, try, try. Oh my god, I love I love snapper in raw fish. Mm. Tell me that is a bomb. Wow. Wow. I didn't quite get the taste I was looking for. Can I take another one? <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. This is... Mm. Yeah. Man. Mate, these kiwis, eh? Living life. Like, the food is amazing. Mmm. And you know what? That sauce. Come on. That sauce reminds me of how my mum used to make raw fish. Oh, divine. No. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No. Wow. Guys, this fry bread, mm. Mm -hmm. oh, so like soft. Oh man, this is the first and definitely not the last time I'll be going to Kiwi Delights because that, mm. this whole, oh, I just, oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what to say, <laughs> but it's. Mate, mate, if this is what you guys are sitting on in New Zealand, whoo, don't come to Australia, you ain't gonna find it. <laughs> oh, this is tasty, like, everything's so good. Like, everyone talks about the meat pies in New Zealand, eh? And I'm, I'm one of those first guys, like, like, those first people to say, nah, you haven't tried Australian pies. Mm -mm. You haven't tried our four and 20. <laughs> oh, Mrs. Max. <laughs> but mate, Mrs. Max 4 and 20, they ain't got on this. This is amazing. 
Like, this is absolutely divine, guys. Really? Mm-mm. The Kiwis do Mrs. play Mrs. Max better. gone to sleep. She wasn't even in the game. Oh, man. I don't know, eating this just, it's, it's taking me back to New Zealand. Like, I have so many fond memories of my time in New Zealand. Like, the markets, just, I don't know, it just... Yeah, I've, like, that's like me. I've only... Although I was born in New Zealand, guys, I came to Australia at a very young age, like two years old. I've been, I basically call myself Australian because this is all I know. Mm -hmm. However, on the little times I've travelled back and forth, man, I don't know where my family's been taking me. But mind you, our spread is usually uh, like someone, someone food. Like we, my, my family, when I do like I go visit my sister or if I'm in New Zealand, I've never, I've had the meat pies from Countdown. You know, the Countdown. It's not the same, mate. You didn't go bakery meat <laughs> pies? Oh no, my God. no. The only thing I've tasted probably from the shops is the fish and chips. Wow. Fish and chips. Like, wrapped in the Kiwis, like newspaper. Yeah, Kiwis, you know. The bakeries are like, oh, whenever I go to New Zealand, me and my family mm. go to New Zealand, we bakery hop. Mm. You know how I said, so like I said in another video, I don't know, but Desiree was waiting on us to do seafood. This was the mukbang I was like waiting on. It was the kiwi one. Mm. And I'm so, I'm so glad it's here. Yeah, like, it's tasty. There's not a... There's not a fault on the table. D yeah. Can't fault anything. Yeah, all of my memories of New Zealand has just been... I don't know. Um, I think my most fondest memory, if I'm being honest. Um, so, my family... Packed up everything here and they went back to New Zealand, I think for a couple of years. Anyways, I was going through a hard time here. So I thought, mm, I'm going to leave the country. So I get my sad ass on a plane and I'm off to New Zealand. Get there. And all I did, oh, I'm so bad. But it's like my fondest memory because it was a happy time for me. Like it was just me hanging out with my cousins and like, going out and drinking and like cruising around yeah because yeah. in new zealand it's so cheap it's so cheap to get on the pit like over here we get oh it's a rip off to get like you know to have a few drinks here but in new zealand mate yeah you I have, had, have little to no oh my god i used to love it i had a party with 20 dollars yeah mm, those cody's the small cody cans Cody's. I think it's like equivalent to our Woodstock. Mm. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, but like cruising around with my cousins, like One Tree Hill, and like. Well, there's no tree on it anymore, eh? Mm -mm. I think someone cut it down. I don't know. There was something I saw on social media once upon a time. But whatever happened to it, I'm not too sure. But there was a tree on there. Mm. Yeah. But like, yeah, I remember cruising around with my cousins, um, Jeannie and Jessica, and it was just such a good time. Oh my God. We were like drinking and driving around and like what every day, like every day. Um, yeah, I was so reckless. I was so mm -hmm. reckless. Like who did I think, I, who do I think I was back then? Oh my God. I keep eyeballing that kinna. Yeah, it's kinna time. Can I? Okay. You, you go first. Cause I ate the orca. Yeah, that's right. That's why I was like, yeah, you eat your orca. <laughs> you go the orca, love. Kinna is my favourite seafood. Oh, man. If, some, if someone were to tell me to pick one seafood, it will be kinna. I've only marked my jumper like three or four times. There you have it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. So, th also, this kinna is the... It's New Zealand Chatham kinna. Chatham Island. Yeah, it's the New Zealand kinna. They, oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right, going in, guys. Oh my gosh, you got a big tongue. What? Look at that. 
I don't know if they can see that. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Also, mm. we'll put the link to, what is it, Kiwi Delights and Nana and Peppa's Pantry in our description. Yeah. Mm. And with fried bread. Mm -hmm. Oh, today is such a good day. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. New Zealand canine is just different. Mm -hmm. And it's so much sweet. It's like sweeter. Mm -hmm. Do you like more fish? Mm -hmm. No. No, take a book. Man. Fried bread and kinna? Oh wow. <laughs> That's what I told you. Legit, like. <laughs> yeah, my favorite pairing is kinna with fried bread or, Man. or kinna with um the Cook Island donuts. Mm. It's my favorite. I used to, I told you that. Yeah, but I never like I was just like Yeah. That's why I, I used pairing. to, you know, mock her who eats. Yeah, I used to tell her. I used to tell her like my favorite is kinna with like the Cook Island donuts or the fried bread and she's like, mm, no, nah, it has to be with like gullet. I'm like Girl. Yeah, well, that's the same morning, man, you know. We're only used to taro and um, fatty. So, taro and green bananas. Mm. But damn, that fried bread and that kinna, that hits different, guys. Mm -hmm. That is, mmm. Oh, uh, oh, my God. Every, no, I've enjoyed this so much. Damn, it is nice. Like, I'm going to ha make sure that... We visit this place. Now that I know of this place, mm -hmm. um... I'm sad we didn't go there before. Ooh. Yeah, like, it's three years, Sharon. You didn't take me there once. My family goes there. Oh, we've had also... Oh my god, we have so much. We also got jam and cream donuts and afghans. I don't know if you... Can they see it? Mm -hmm. uh, they can see one afghan, but that's alright. Yeah. Yes, they do like um, kiwi like pastries um, there. This is what we picked up today. Oh, so last night we had dinner. We went to dinner at the Marsden mm -hmm. for my sister's 21st birthday. That's our local. Yeah, that's our local. Um, what happened? Oh, and then we all came back to ours for, um, mm. for game night. Man. My family were like pressuring me. So with our family, we go in for game night. Like we go guys hard for game night. When I first um when I first came in the, into the family, when when I am um, Sharon goes, oh we'll go for game nights. Here I'm thinking we're just gonna play basic Uno cards and um, <laughs> Monopoly. Monopoly. Nick Minute. What the heck? Like these guys when they play games like that's what I mean. When they throw down. And their games, mm -hmm. their games are games that my family probably are like, huh? Because, yeah, they're just very competitive. But the game nights that we have with Sharon's family, siblings, oh my gosh, it's it's the best. Because mm -hmm. I never used to be a gamer like that. Mm -hmm. But the board games these guys come with. Mm -hmm. hmm. We go in. <sighs> yeah, so we go in. Like, in, in. Where, like, we stay, like at each other's houses till like early hours of the morning. And because my family is so competitive, like, like our games, it's 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 more than just a game for us. I um, think I think the latest that we ever finished games night was 7 a.m. in the morning, guys, from the night before. And we're playing this game called Salem. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um we were also playing, what's the game that me, Noah, and Geneva? Which one? The one we were champion at, the champion belt. So we have this um oh, belt, yeah. guys. Oh, I want to go show them. Go grab it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way you 
ran. <laughs> yeah. If we, when or if or when we have a vlog channel, we'll like. Yeah, boy. So yeah, this is the <laughs> the championship belt. This is our belt for code names. So. Oh yeah, that way. Yeah. That way. You see. So yeah. So for anyone that's played code names, also if you're a family or whatever that um don't aren't really into board games and want to have a want to start off on like a somewhat simple board game code names code names was awesome i think code, code names is where we started yeah 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 code names was the first game that we started on so if well, you since i've been in the picture yeah so if yeah. you haven't played code names get i think it's only like 20 bucks 30 dollars um you pick it up from like kmart or, or wherever it's such a good game yeah so this is the belt i think my brother i think my brother damon, damon yeah, yeah damon brought it over so how it works for my family mm -hmm. It's like when you win, whatever team you're on, we like list the names and like the date you won. And that's how it goes for like this belt. We're also meaning to get like another belt. Because mm -hmm. we have so many games. We play so many games. It's not funny. So when we go in for games night, it's just like... So last night, also another game I can recommend is... um, What is it called? Color Brain. But the Disney version. The Disney... Finish it. Um, Color Brain, the Disney version. Oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Well, then again, you need to, like, you really need to know your Disney. Like, even some of, like, the old school stuff, like, um, Pinocchio. It's got, like, Moana in it. Um, Lion King. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's such a good game. Mm -hmm. Even, like, drinking games for my family. Ridiculous. I yeah, King's Cup, guys. Yeah. We so, came up, like, whilst we were playing King's Cup, one drink up, we came up with um, a whole set of new a rules. A whole set of new rules. Yeah. And so we started playing two decks. Mate, by the time you finish one round of King's Cup, you're already. <laughs> yeah. Like, really, you only need to play one round with two decks mm -hmm. with both set of rules going at once. But it's, it's so, so fun. Yeah. Like, so fun. Guys, I just want to say thank you to everyone who asked about my mother when she was in hospital. She's she's being discharged and she's uh, recovering well. Yeah. Um, and you know, just also with people asking about featuring my mum on the channel. Surprisingly enough, um, I had a conversation with my mother yesterday, and she said yes. Yeah. So hopefully, in the upcoming weeks or in the next, I don't know. We can't. We can't give. We can't give a time right now. But guys, if I can say something, like, for my mother to say yes yeah. was, like, a major thing for me. Major yeah. thing for both of us. Like, my mother don't do, like, oh, I make yeah. her sound like it, But she's not, like, if you just knew my mum, yeah, I was just surprised. She goes, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Right? And I'll cook your food for the mukbang <laughs> too. So, guys, watch this space. Um, you'll see my mum, she'll be on our video sometime yeah. soon. Yeah. Um, and yeah, man, I was stoked. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. When Ray called me from work, she's like, oh my God, guess what? I'm like, yeah. And she's like, mum said she'll be in the video. And I was just like, M which mum? Like, at first I'm like, M my, like, Faith, it's mum? And she was like, no, like, my mum, like, so I was like, oh, no, like, if you knew <laughs> Ray's mum... I was just like, wow, really? She's, She's like, a yeah. busy lady. Yeah. Very busy. Um, yeah, and when she was like, yeah, I'll even cook all the food, I was like, oh, wow. Wow. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited too. It. Yeah. I'm, I'm nervous, actually, because I don't know what my mother is going to spit <laughs> out on that day, because mm -hmm. she's no filter, guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love my mum dearly, always. You guys know that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that was one of the highlights of my week. So, guys, while Sharon eats her creamy donut... Ray doesn't want one. Oh, mate. I've, I'm She's saving my last spot for, you know, a little bit more of the seafood, uh, the boil-up. Because, man, I don't know if you guys understand, but when we start eating... Mm, are you sure? Yeah. What? 
Fresh cream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, you got that one. Oh, man. <laughs> this is why I left room. Mm. I have tried these before. Um, My mom's got these for us before. Um, Wait, I don't know if you've had it. Or maybe I had a hold out without mm -hmm. you. I don't know. Hold out. Mm. That'll be right. Mm. Man. Yum. Man, we miss you now. Well, not anymore. We can go there now. Mm. And it's fresh cream too. Mm -hmm. And on the nose, like, it has to be fresh cream, not that mock mock cream. Mm -mm. It needs to be fresh cream. Mm. Man, this donut... Mm. Man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like mm. people have always reference to like certain bakeries here in Australia saying that oh they're the closest I've tasted to New Zealand. Boy these taste like home. Boy, whoever whoever references anything to any Australian bakery to this, they don't know what they're talking about because damn this is amazing. And if this is how they do it in New Zealand, woo! Like I said, like people who reference certain bakeries to be like New Zealand, uh uh. Nah. nah. And that, that this is the first time I have liked like pies, guys. These pies are so differently made. That cream bun, guys, oh, you, I haven't tasted anything like that. Here in Australia. Like that's my first time and I think I've just really got the real Kiwi way of doing the cream buns because man mm. it's like got a mixture of your cookie donut sort of mix, if I'm being honest. Slightly and then you've got fresh cream and the actual jam itself. Mm. Just go and get it. Go and get it. If we can recommend well if I can recommend one mukbang let you actually go out and make time and like go out and buy. Have an Afghan? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. Okay. And I'm not a sweet tooth, guys. And at the same, like, yeah, if I can recommend one mukbang to go out and actually purchase, um, actually buy, will probably be this one. At the same time, you'll be supporting a small, are you right? A, a small business. Mm. Like this whole oh man, I just want to jump. The yeah, please, please go and try. Let me go and that try. Is... I don't think you can be. You can't be disappointed at this place. You can't. It's that good. It it really is that good. Mhm. Mm just because I was born there, I'm just like oh yeah, I was born there, but I want to actually experience New Zealand. Yeah, experience, I feel like, like they got nice mountains there. Well, I feel like it's like that for a lot of people. Like the place you live, you don't really ex like. You really don't go out and like experience um, the country or the city that you're in. Like there are a lot of people I feel like that kind of live live in Sydney, haven't really explored Sydney, and we're one of the most beautiful cities and countries in the world. A lot of people like love to come here for a holiday. They dream about coming to Australia, and here we live, but we don't kind of know our own city. I feel like it's important just to like know where you're from um that's why i'm so glad i have dora over here we go like everywhere <laughs> mate if it wasn't for me guys she wouldn't even know sydney I, i'm a nav man on my own i'm a human nav man no she really is she, mm. she really is i don't know i am a gutter guy like yeah so i'm so i'm so happy i'm so glad she was a gutter before she met me because <laughs> i'm reaping the rewards of it like now yeah but like my parents used to take us on long trips when we were young and just familiarised myself with it. And then, you know, once I was old enough to drive, guys, mate, when I went for a cruise, it was hours on end, wherever my petrol could take me. So mm. I, I would go on cruises just to, like, clear my head and stuff growing up. And I would end up almost to Canberra, you mm. know. 
Um, but yeah, I'm glad I did that when I was a lot younger because when I take her places, like she's just like, how do you even know? Trust me, I don't know how I know. I just ended up here one day. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not a bad thing. It's been a, a good ride for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I'm reaping all the rewards of her gutter days, so I, I love it. For being honest, I'm j I've just been to my relative's house out of there. That's about it. But to be in Auckland is a different story. Um, oh, my sister took us to, um, is it Otara? Otahu? Otara? Otara? Yeah, Otara. We went to Otahu. Um, Are you talking about the mall? Like, not the <laughs> mall, the little... Not, list. not the, not the Westfields they've got over there. What Westfields? <laughs> the Manukau City. I love Manukau Mall. Mm. Oh my god, they have good butter chicken in there. And the Thai place, if you... In the food court, there's a Thai place that stands alone, like right in the center. Is it Thai? I'm pretty sure. Or is it Viet? Uh, Not your knees. Vietnamese. Yeah, I say <laughs> I say that wrong, but that's how I say it. Vietnamese. But there's a yeah, a, an Asian I can't remember place right dead center. Not dead center, like in the middle, kind of of the food court. Not the ones around the side. That middle. Oh my god, it's got such. I think it's chicken and rice or something. That's so good, and the butter chicken in there is also bomb. Also, the butter chicken that's by the pack and save. <laughs> the butter chicken that's by the pack and save. I'm um, not far from Manukau Mall. It's got like heaps of like different restaurants in that one hub. Oh my god, they have good butter chicken too. Yeah, I've been to Hamilton. She's been to the snooty side, now. I've been to Ham. No, no, my friend. So there was one year I went to New Zealand, and my my Maori friends were there. Um, my um, you know. I met them here and I met them in New Zealand to, um, yeah, and they took me up there. And man, the scenery was really good, eh? Yeah. But we went out one night clubbing and um, me and my mate Makere, um, we went out clubbing and, you know, me going hard, going in on the, the piss over there. It's not like Australia, mate. It's like 12 percenters, but that was me, yeah. eh? I was going in on the drinks and then... Towards the end of, like, anyways, I got a hangover, I got drunk, got a hangover, wake up the next day, and guess where we were at? We were at this seafood place, and man, like, the containers of kinners, mussels, and all that, mm. endless. And um, I ate all that, and then we're trekking it back from Hamilton to Auckland. My poor friends, you know, the poor seafood, um, yeah. Chucking it along the highway. But the, cl the clubs in Auckland. Oh, it's different. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh. Oh, sorry. Go, oh, no, you, you go. go. <laughs> <laughs> no, you go, you go, you go. You oh go. my gosh. Okay, so the last time I was there was for my sister's um graduation. And um, we went to this club in... Was it in town or no? Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, it was Manukau. Wait, am I saying that right? I always say, I call it school. I... Tara. No, it was in Manukau. Like... Where? It was in Manukau. I don't know. It was near... So Denny's... Is it Denny's? Yeah, yeah. Near Denny's? Not Denny's. What's that place that's open? Yeah, I think it's Denny's. Denny's, Denny's. Yeah, so they're open 24 hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everyone goes to Denny's so in Auckland. We went to this Manukau club, and then not far away, apparently, there's this art fob, fobby club. Anyways, this, this club, we went there, and... Um, I don't know. I didn't know what to expect from the club, but... Are man. you sure it's not Otara? I no, swear. it's not Otara. No way. Okay. Okay, man. But this club, I was, like, culture shocked. Why? They're playing some more music. They're playing, like, uh, you know, yeah. they're playing, like, um, island music. And I was just like, wow. Okay. I was like, I don't know what I was expecting when I was going clubbing, but damn, it was like a culture shock for me. You won't get that here. Oh, no, you won't. You won't. And and if you do, it's at a Siva. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was like a Siva like club. But there's there's okay, it's <laughs> a, a memorable club for me. Let me know if any of you guys know. It's the one in Otara, right? It's um, um, yeah, it's the club in Otara. 
Oh, where, what's it called? I don't know. It's probably changed its name a million different times. But, like, it kind of reminds me of, like, oh, not Skelsies. It's like, I don't know. But, like, the times I've been there. <laughs> woo! The pen. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, um, I don't know. It's just, it's a very memorable, memorable club for me. Going to that club. If you know that club, I don't even know if it's still there. If it's still open, if there's different owners. It's been years since I went there. Memorable for her. Memorable. Yeah. Yeah, it was just different. The club or somebody? No, no, the club. <laughs> the club. Like, I've never been to Samoa, but I picture, like, if I were to be in Samoa. Oh, mate. That, Sam that would be the no. atmosphere of the club. Samoan clubs in Samoa. When I went last, and this was ages ago, I could only imagine their clubs go off, guys. Like, yeah, I, I enjoyed clubbing in Samoa way more than Australia. Like, it was the ish. Like, it was good. It goes banging. Like, it's banging. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I've heard they're, like, really good, the clubs in Samoa. The last, I think the club that I went to when I was in Samoa was Area 51. Man, that went off back then. Oh, and I Spy. I Spy was one of the clubs too. Um, I Spy. They had some really hip names. I'm really going through my like clubbing itinerary <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> yeah. Clubbing in the island is a different level, man. Like you can't measure to it. Because the music in Samoa, it's music I never heard. But man, it, it's banging. <sighs> but yeah, that's enough of our clubbing days, eh? Because... If I told you half the stories about my clubbing days, woo. No, they're so oh, I don't know. I have, so, I have so many good memories. Like now, like I can laugh about it. Back then it was like, oh my God, tragedy. Like what am I doing with my life? Okay, guys, it's time for us to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for watching us again. Hope you guys enjoyed because we definitely enjoyed this spread. Yeah. Um, 110%. Um, so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to share, guys. Mm -hmm. Much love to everyone. And thank you. Bye.